before you proceed to say anything, I just want you to you should be able to say anything, which is uh, Dr. Bore. Dr. Bore is the dean of the Kabbalah University, and he is the director of the Organization of Africa. We are also one of the advocates, and we have one of the advocates who have been working with us, the commissioner and advocate, uh, Madam uh, Doreen from the uh, East. Um, I would like to I'm very happy to be here with you today, colleagues. For one reason, it's not because I've been nominated to be the governor of Niger County, but for the simple reason that I'm a teacher and academic. Like I was told you, I'm a trained teacher. And I've been a teacher all my life. I've had a privilege to teach in primary school. I've had a privilege to teach in secondary school. I've had the privilege to teach in the teacher's training college. I've had the privilege to give out instructions to ECD teachers as a teacher trainee. And I've had a great opportunity to teach in the university where my last posting was the Dean School of Arts and So I'm here today to join hands with you and to appreciate Chairman together with your team what you have done to come out to the union and bring the ECD teachers together. I appreciate so much the work the union is doing. Because when you don't have a union, then you don't have a better bargaining power. In the absence of the union, our mothers will not get maternity leaves required by you. Someone needs to be there to push to happen. Someone needs to push there for the salaries to go up. And I want to say today that we will work together very closely with the union. We will be out there to frustrate the union or make the union, you know, or, or really destabilize the work of the union. But we'll be there to join hands with you, support you where it is possible, and walk you through the journey of success. Teachers, the first, the first thing in the world of order is the teacher. After Jesus Christ, the second person is the teacher. Because mine as the teacher will not be here today. They say that the, Jesus Christ was the best teacher. Yeah. And I will say now that the other teacher after Jesus Christ, which changes the world in every sphere, is the teacher. Yeah. And the most important in the teaching country is the pre-primary school teacher. Yeah. We are receiving them at upper primary. We are receiving them at some of the school. We are receiving them at the university. These are already prepared and made children. Yes. Because most of the work that happens for a child is that place at the ECD and the nursery school there. Yes. Your colleagues, you teach this child or train that child. Yes. We release the best parents to you. And then they come to your hand. They don't know what train that is. Then humbly and patiently, you make them understand that this is how you are supposed to be held. A skill that they will never forget in their life. They will have to give them order. When they come, they don't know how to write. But patiently you hold their hands and guide them to write until letter M comes out nicely. They don't know how to pronounce their names. I'm Eric. My other school teacher told me I used to say, I'm Eric. <laughs> but she patiently, that great teacher Emily in my home place, Jabanga Lindrugu there, patiently taught how to come out, how to pronounce the name Eric correctly, together with the late teacher Chris Lagan. Great and perfect teachers who took their time to work with us. Colleagues, when this child comes, the teeth are almost fully. In your, you are not a doctor, but you help them to explain the do. Yes. <laughs> To a when they come, they don't have the pole, they come with pole or tea, or tea. You carefully unpack it for them to eat during that. Who is greater than the ECD teacher? Next to God, there is none after you. Unfortunately, in our country, unlike in other developed nations, where these teachers and the normal grade teachers, they are, they are paid almost the highest amount yeah. in the teaching career. Mm -hmm. What I've come here today is to give you my commitment. Mm -hmm. As we even thank 
the county government. Because we must also say thank you for what I did. Yes. The county government came in when there were no structure. Yes. They brought structure. Yes. They employed some of you. Yes. They opened room for you, right? Yes. And we say thank you for what they have done. Yes. The job that remains ahead of us now is to professionalize the teaching service in the pre-primary school. Yes. We have had you loud and clear. Yes. The good senator Aaron Chiriyan came with a team here. They were able to prosecute the case because at that time you had not been paid for a decade. You were working for three or four months and there was no money. You were earning the middle or the lowest wage in the county of all the counties that we have across Kenya. Kericho County was paying the smallest, smallest wages. Million, you know, and there has been some advance going forward. I think now it's going to 15,000 or something like that, isn't it? Yes. This is my proposal to you that we are going to implement it. And this is not good service. The county money is belongs to the people. It belongs to the people of the region. Yes. The work of the governor is simply to provide good governance and create a very good working environment for everyone working in that yes. county. So one of the things that we plan to do, number one, is to actually revise the schemes of service and keep them in For instance, everywhere you go in the world, a diploma holder cannot add the same salary as a certificate holder. And a degree holder cannot add the same salary as a certificate holder. We must pay the quality of your paper so that we know when your certificate, this is what you add. When your diploma, this is what you add. When your degree, this is what you add. While we are doing it, we also do a proper scheme of service that will tell us clearly that at what point of time are you moving to the next job group. It is a function in the human labor market. And every time, that you can employ a worker and add the same salary until you just try to come back. So, so if a movement for one skill to the other, after you have said for this point of time, long time ago, there were the untrained teachers, they were called the UT. Yes. And they could talk over time, they become actual teachers. Yes. And they move in, and the salary is cheaper for them. Now yes. you can issue a tree, isn't it? Yes. That's why we are committed. We are committed to redesign our budget to ensure that we provide for you a movement cadre, that you are moving from this position to the other one. Yes. And this will also create space for you. If you are having a certificate, it will also inspire you that you can take a part-time course until you also get a degree. Yes. And move the car the it is possible yes. to get a degree. Yes. Tell you, for example, there, uh, when I did my master's, I was earning a salary of 8,000 finishes at Cap Current Summary School. And I thank those that school and the parents because they employed me and a teach me. Out of this money, which is what I used to pay for my master's on part. So I was learning on what? And I paid for my master's. Then I cleared my master's. I proceeded now because I've been employed by the TSE to use the same salary to pay for my BAE. And today when I sit here, it is only God that has placed us where we are today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just enough to have that success. When we will create for you a proper scheme of service yes. that will allow you to also meet a for the boy. Yes. You also one day have your master's and you have your game. Yes. And it is very possible when you are able to create a very good working environment. Yes. Number two, ladies and gentlemen. I'm aware that none of you has been employed on permanent and professional contract. Yes. The 1,200, I think so, mm -hmm. is the teachers that we have in the county government of Kericho. Mm -hmm. All of them are on contract. Yes. And, and of course, what we need to accept is this. When devolution happened, two structures were devolved. One was the preschool level, that is the ECB, yes. and the other one is the vocational courses, the technical institute. Yes. In our budget that we move forward then, is to allocate more money to the Department of Education, yes. a department that has not been taken seriously. Yes. Because for the last three or so years, we've never had a substantive CEC 
in that, uh, de uh, in that department of education. <laughs> and there's been a lot of problems there. So we, we intend them to make it more vibrant, get a proper CC for that department, CEOs and directors, allocate more money to education. Because if we don't allocate more money to education, it means we don't have the future of our children, we don't have the future of our county. Yes. What will this happen is that when you keep more budget to that uh, department, this will enable us to confirm us on permanent and pensionable terms. Yes. When you confirm you on permanent and pensionable terms, then the next thing that we must do is to provide you with a pace. Yes. You see, sometimes you want to go for a fund to take your child to school. When you don't have your pace, where will you go and take your fund? <laughs> Maybe somebody wants to give you some cash on your bank. That's how we always survive. Mm -hmm. yeah, you get a small loan, you buy a point or two, isn't it? Yes. Or you go to Kureso is there, you buy something, or, you know, just to take your life move forward. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a pay slip, you cannot take that, isn't it? Yes. So we want to recognize and ensure that in every month you have your pay yes. in good time. Mm -hmm. So that you can approach a lender or a financial institution and be able to develop yourself. Mm -hmm. Because I tell you colleagues, as you score the mean score in the classrooms, remember to also score mean score in your homes. Yes. Yes. One day we will all retire mm -hmm. and we'll leave these offices. Yes. What matters the most is what you have done in your home. Yes. Because that's a that we are your mm -hmm. So, we are committed, ladies and gentlemen, to ensure that we take you in on permanent and pensionable terms. Mm -hmm. And also the ECD teachers, we also have the youth bank of our nurses. Mm -hmm. We have the Department of Agriculture, a great number of county government employees mm -hmm. that are working on contract. Mm -hmm. And I think it's about time that we seriously rework on them so that we deal with this problem once and for all. Mm -hmm. and it and they are forever. Mm -hmm. um, to the extent that I'm saying this, people will ask us that where will you get the money to do all these things? And I tell them we have a lot of money to carry to. Eight billion is a lot of money. The biggest challenge you have had is massive corruption. Yes. When we seal the floodgates and the taps of corruption, yes. we'll be able to save this money. Yes. When we will stop taking our CECs for unnecessary meetings yes. in Mombasa and other places, yes. we will save money to take these guys yes. over. Yes. We digitalize the collection of revenue. And let me give you an example. When Kirito was being managed by the Kipsikis County Council before devolution happened, it was so strong to a point that it used to fund the national government. Yes. Devolution came in 2013 and 2017 because then we used to collect revenue of 800 million. 2013, 20, 2013 2017, the county government of Kirito was collecting approximately 500 million. 2017 to 2022, in the on generated revenue, the revenue dropped to 200 million. So you can imagine it used to be 800 million, then 500 million, then now 200 million. That tells us we need to seal the loopholes of corruption yes. in yes. Kerito County. Yes. Most of this money that we collect, they don't end up reaching the county government government. Yes. And that explains why when you go to a hospital, you look, they won't accept you to pay using a paper. They want you to pay cash money. What we are going to do is to digitalize our revenue collection so that we have a uniform way of collecting revenue, increase our revenue as we increase and build the economy of the town, and this money will be enough to make these guys comfortable yes. in their very Trust the process and trust the time. God is ahead of us and we are committed to ensure that we reach there. Last week, colleagues, we also think it so strongly that we need to model our ECD structures at the lower level. Yes. The working environment. Yes. I'm aware that we stop it because we don't have offices. Yes. The classroom we are thinking in double in that they are office. Yes. We are committed to do offices at that level. Yes. And a very professional in at that level, we are also committed to come up with a school fitting program for the ECD. Yes. So, it is not expensive to provide bullets for this guy. I was talking with the farmers, the dairy farmers, and we agree with them that together with the cooperative, we are going to have one major factory plant for processing milk in the yeah. Once we achieve this, we plan as a county government 
to buy the same unique as the county and use them as a feeding program for our children. In the this will not only ensure the child is healthy, but this will also attract children to come to school. And they will also, you know, create that good environment for this child in terms of health and in terms of school attendance. And the school will be attractive for the child. We also want to provide learning materials to the ECD. ECD is at the default function. And uh, I know the national government have been providing instructions materials from grade one and above. Yes. But the ECD center, because it is at the vault thing, has always been left in between. Yes. They're neither here nor there. <coughs> we want to take this responsibility without any shame. Yes. And be able to provide learning materials. Yes. You know those kids in the village, most of them come from very vulnerable homes. Yes. The children from homes that are okay, they will take them to the next academy. Yes. Yeah. For us, that's like we don't know the, the inside of an academy all our lives. We never saw the inside of academy. <laughs> I was saying academy is bad because in society there are different classes for working class people. But what we are seeing is can we make the county government facilities very attractive? Yeah. If we have a package, we create a package and then we buy land materials. Work with donors. I know donors by hell and, and so many other donors. You deserve another are willing to support county governments who are genuine enough to help this children. Yes. And that's why I'm saying we are committed to ensure that we provide the feeding program and also provide the learning materials for the children at the ECB. Mm -hmm. This will reduce the burden, the cost burden of the parents. Mm -hmm. Because the work of the parent now will be to prepare this child and this child come to school, hand over to a teacher who will work with this child. Yeah. And they will be handing over to a teacher who is happy. Yes. Because yes. <laughs> the young of our child is a teacher who is not happy. You know, we are human beings. Yes. We have not received a salary for three months. How do you teach? Yes. You are one children at home, they have been asked to come out of the They have been asked to go for fees. You are one children that have not eaten. You don't even have fear, you are for that. You know, it's very embarrassing. Even if you are a teacher, you are for that, it becomes a problem. The way they will live. Yeah, but if you're doing your hair, it becomes a problem. You'll go for the week and you'll keep changing over hair. Because you know the most active stage and formative stage of a child is that level of obesity. Yes. That's where a child is observing a lot of things, conceptualizing a lot of things, formatting life, and a child becomes what he is from what he does in that particular stage. Yes. We intend to do your glory on your face. Yes. And we intend to make you shine. Yes. We will work together this year. We'll work together this year. Yes. We'll do what we can to make sure that you are yes. To make sure that at least you are moving to the next level. Yes. The good news is. We may not need again to go to very expensive banks as we move forward. We've discussed this with Kenya Commercial Bank. We want to have a discussion with the Equity Bank. Because we intend for the hustlers to have an active county revolving fund. Mm -hmm. I know when you go to the commercial banks, you do a loan of 14%. It is possible for us in Kiricho to have a county revolving fund which is averaging around six, 4 to 6%. This will allow you to also get cheap loans from the county gap. Yeah. And this will help you to progress in your home, begin a business there. Yeah. Learning goes after around one, isn't it? Yes. If after one, learning is over, what is wrong if you have a small shop in the village? Yeah. So that after you're done with the children, you go home and you open your small canteen in the village. Yes. So, with what you get from the county government, suddenly, after work, you go to another side hustle. Yes. What is wrong if you have another skill of doing salute? Yes. I've run a YouTube business all my life. Yes. It is even there today. Yes. I think that all that we still have the miracle cosmetics in the day with my wife. Yes. That we still sell some hair and we still sell some what? Me too. Yes. It's a business we have run since when we were employed by TSC. It's a side hustle. Because Kenya is very expensive. Yes. And we need to look at ways on how we can put these things to move yes. forward together. Yes. This is really my thought. These are my plans as we move forward. And lastly, 
is that we want to build a zenith. We want to be friends. The employer is not an enemy. Correct? Yes. But we only become enemies when we do you bad, isn't it? Yes. So we want to work together. So that when you have your annual conferences in Kerito Chairman, you will not come here. We'll be able to present for you as accounting. Yes. And attend, isn't it? Yes. Then you do your meet, yes. then you do your celebrate, yes. and you move forward. Yes. I mean, if we can organize for a political run, why can't we organize for the people yes. that are contributing to the economy of yes. And this is where we want to go to as a reform. So I would like to say that we are taking Kerito to another level. Yes. And we trust God to work this thing. We didn't seek for these electric positions to make ourselves rich, but to ensure that we have a better working environment for our people. Mm -hmm. To ensure that we have an economy that can absorb our youth, thousands of them are outside there with no job. Mm -hmm. To ensure that we reform the county public service board of Kirito. Mm -hmm. I know most of you, you are going to meet a very valuable. Mm -hmm. You go look for your local MC. The work of the assembly is legislation and oversight, not employment. Yeah. Employment is done by the county public service. Yes. And that is why we have spoken in a very strong way to the county public service. Yes. That we need to reform how we do our things. Yes. And make it professional and familiar. Yes. So that in the county government of Kalicho, you don't need to know anyone to be employed. Yes. Let your purpose employ you. Yes. You don't need to know that anybody to make you move to another level. Yes. Let your purpose move you and systems move you. Yes. That's why we are saying we are moving forward to professionalize our public service. Yes. So that you are able to go for an interview. If you qualify for the same, you get a job. Yes. We are also going to map out our ECD funds that we have. So that we are also able to predict because population is growing, we'll be able scientifically to say, okay, these are the area is potential to create another ACD facility. And we do this progressively. Because if we go again and open too many ACD teachers, the wage bill will be ballooning yeah. and we won't be able to pay you. Yeah. So allow us to be gradual. Yeah. So that as we move the economy, we continue opening up more ACD centers. Yeah. But first of all, having taken care of those that we have, isn't it? Yeah. And even making sure, for example, I have this thought. Instead of opening another city center just across the river there, why can't we employ another teacher here? Yes. So that instead of having one easy teacher in a facility, you know you can get sick. Yes. All of us can get sick. Yes. But if you get sick, we don't allow children just to stay there. Yes. Because teachers don't know. Maybe you want to go for maternity leave. Yes. My thinking is we should have a minimum of two teachers in a center. Yes. So that what we share, what we share, yes. what we share. Yes. And at least will really help us to move forward yes. as a county and even help our children at that level. Because I know if we take seriously our education, it will help us move forward. Yes. As I conclude, we also have a proper program for the vocational college. And we are going to have what we call intentional leadership in Kerijo. We are parents all of us. And we know of the great number of our youth in the villages there who are unemployed. Some of them, they never managed to go to the university. We are committing ourselves as a county that we are going to pick 100 children per one. These guys will never go to university. And we will then take them on scholarship to the county facilities, the professional facilities, to train in skilled courses like plumbing, like electrical engineering, saloon, masonry, and other courses that they will come and work on their own and get their own employment. So that our children will not be waiting along the roadside for a politician to give handouts. But this child will be having a meaningful life that is engaged on this one. So these are things that we want to do as we move forward to create a good environment for all of us. That said and done, just assure you that I love you so much. Thank you so much for the support you gave me. You supported me immensely. Now I want to say that from the depth of my heart, I also work for you. I'm now a slave of you. Because I never bribed you, you gave me your fault. You even volunteered with the agents and mobilized. So the biggest people I've answered the phone is you. Yes. Look at the program mm. of you. Yes. And we will respond to that call yes. with a lot of strength. Yes. So let me end by saying thank you so much. May God bless your children. Yes. I know you have sacrificed a lot for each other.
Yes. You have worked on tough times. Mm -hmm. You have seen the worst that one can never imagine. Mm -hmm. But brother, days are coming ahead. Yes. Brother, days are coming ahead. Mm -hmm. Brother, days are coming ahead. Mm -hmm. And we are coming ahead. Yes. Brother, again, are we going to have teacher Chris mm -hmm. going to almost 55 years? Mm -hmm. Answer the question. We will not have to take less time. We can't. And even those who are about to retire, you have worked and served the county, and you are about to retire, and you are a contract. We will work a way to give you some lots of amount. You can start your life. You can at least start your life. So that when you are home, you are able to say, I go this farm. I've been working with the county government for even though I was never confirmed, but at least this is something small that I can see at home. I pray that you continue supporting me. I still pray for your force because we'll be having the ultimate general election for August. So I pray that you still take us through the journey until August so you will confirm us at the time. And now when we get to the office, we begin to implement these things that we have been saying. Yes. We are working for and we are committed for the same. Yes. Thank you so much. God bless you so much. Yes. And I wish you a lovely afternoon. Yes. Yes.